Ah, uh, yes. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a Tony Commander, J.R. Kubokwa Chesson talk show. Today is September the 26th. It's a Saturday. I hope you have a nice day. And let's start my show. As you can see, I have two topics for today. The first topic is about voters' challenge. What is the challenge that our voters are facing today? You have many challenges as Liberians, especially as young Liberians. You have many challenges, especially for this election. You have to choose a candidate. You have to choose wisely. You have to understand that your vote is significant. And then you have to go and vote for the person of your choice. Have you stolen your vote? Have you given your card up to a politician who has given you money? Who has deceived you and lied to you? Do you still trust and believe because of your tribal people? What is the challenge that is primary above all your challenges as a voter? You, there's only one. Every voter in Liberia has one challenge. And that challenge is patriotism. Are you a Liberian patriot? Do you know what being a Liberian patriot means? The challenge of being a patriot places you on a pedestal that is higher than anything you know, than any family. It puts you on a pedestal that makes you responsible for the collective survival of Liberia and Liberian people. It puts you on a pedestal that ensures that all families participate collectively in the governance and leadership of the West Africa. One of the challenges our children face today as voters, one of the challenges, besides the main challenge I talk about, besides patriotism, one of the other main challenges you young people face is to understand that whether you are market women, whether you are Congo or country, it doesn't matter. Liberia has always been a nation of opportunities where once you excel beyond a certain level, you achieve the opportunity to be amalgamated or join into the main Liberian society and participate as anybody. Look at Darius Dillon. He's indigenous. He's from Basel. Look at Bugs and Finley. They, they claim to be from Basel. You know? And the Basel people voting for Bugs and Finley, Finley, regardless of his name, whether he's a Finley or not. His first name is Bugs and He claimed to be from Basel. His father was senator to Basel. So the Basel people gave their allegiance to the son of the old order. His father was Torba Senator. But the nation senator, not Torbos, but the nation senator at that, at that time, of the Congo government. And the masses of the Kenya people going to vote for him again. And they're stopping him now. All the Basel people from Moreover won't stop him. Because they know what he and Ellen Johnson them did and have been doing to our country. So it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter whether you country or Congo. It doesn't matter where you come from in Liberia. All that matters is you have opportunity to gain an education. That's all that matters. Nothing else matters. And if you don't understand that and keep following these people and telling your your boy, your market people, children, your 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 belly, your different from the Congo people, the Congo people this, you will always remain market women children. Because you have not learned from the lessons of even George Weir. Look at George Weir. George Weir is a market woman, children too. He was born his son. 
he raised you were raised in the slum but what made him become president of Liberia it's not because he was lucky it was because of his talent his abilities and not only his abilities the opportunity he had to form his abilities into something that became enriching for himself and for all Liberian people. Because we can all say, yes, now, this, this man put us on the map. That what everybody saying now. He put us on the international map. He's a star. He's a star. So the thing, George, we are accomplished. Many, 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 many Liberians can never accomplish it. No matter how high you try, no matter how lucky you are sometimes, you can't achieve it because that was his achievement. <clears throat> and he put his mind to what he was doing. And he prayed maybe to his juju God, to everything, and opened up the way for him to travel abroad, to become a soccer star. Now he's back in Liberia, president of Liberia. So you see young children, being market women children means nothing. Being Congo a country means nothing. What matter is, can you do it? Can you do the job that you are put to do? To, to? Can you achieve and excel at your own personal opportunities? Are you wise enough to see opportunity when it comes your way and take it? Not for money, not for any big promises, but for your own ability to grow and excel, to make you something among the people in the world. So George we have made himself, and because he made himself, all of you are following him today, because you are loving for what he did, what he, can, what he did in the past, his achievements, that not your achievement, but he achieved something that all of your desire, to have money, to be rich, and to lead like people too, like the senators and all those kind of people. But you cannot achieve that thinking that you only a market woman children. Thinking that only Congo people can excel to that. You can sell to that same level too. But you gotta stop thinking about money and politics right now. You gotta put focus on your own abilities. Am I a man enough to challenge other men in this era and succeed? Just we are a man to challenge people on the soccer pitch, <clears throat> to school, to train, to be disciplined. You think to be an international player, you can just jump out over there and say, I'll be an international player? No. There's a lot of training, a lot of discipline. You can't go to certain parties, you can't go to certain functions. You can't eat certain food. You can't do certain things. Those are discipline. And George, we had to undergo that. I had to undergo that. And that will make him successful. If he didn't follow those plans and those procedures and the study, the players and things like that, he would never have made any team in Europe. But because of his abilities to adjust and overcome, adjust and overcome adjust and overcome you know why i say that's over and over again because at the foundation of knowing who you are because none of us are stationary none of us are inflexible none of us are just metals we can't move our mind is flexible so is our bodies so when we put our minds to do things and we say we want to do this, we can do it. Look at my show right now. I never used to be like this on TV. Now I learned in one month, I learned how to do this and I learned far much more that I can do because I did not want to come back on TV as I, the way I was before. I want to advance my production for TVs so I can know what I'm dealing with was out there in the world today. I didn't sit down and wait for other people to come do it for me. I saw people doing it. I see the children in America doing it, the thing they are doing. And they're doing it bad. And I'm 
looking at it, I said, wow, how do kids learn this thing? <clears throat> if these kids can learn it, why are all sister year old men and me can sit down and learn this thing? And I sat down and learned it. I don't know it all yet. But at least I can make a presentation that people can appreciate and like. And say, wow, this is different. You see? But you gotta apply yourself. No matter how hard it is, you gotta pray. When I was doing all these things here last month, I knew it, but I couldn't bring it together. I was having a little hard time figuring out what to do, what to do. And the whole while I was praying that my mind opened to this whole concept because it's different. It's mind blowing and it's new. And there are so many avenues you can go out with this thing. And there are so many avenues out there for the internet now, since especially since this COVID-19. And the same thing in Liberia. You young kids, if you put your mind to it, you can sit down and do anything you want to do. There is no limit to it. I'm not gifted more than y'all. It's just that I put my mind to it. I said, this is what I want to do. And let me tell you something. No matter what you do in your life, if you want to excel, and you know that smoking dro drugs will not let your mind open enough for you to read and understand, you gotta just leave it or cut it down. See, that's your own life. The government can regulate the drugs, but you can get it any way you want to get it on the black market. You know that. I know that. Real men know that. Only people who live in the shelters and things don't understand the workings of the world. But it all falls down on you personally. It falls down on you personally. You, it can't be for your mom, it can't be for your pa, it can't be for your friend, it can't be for your brother. The greatest challenge that photos face is your patriotism. Understanding that you got to do it for yourself. Understanding that where you're born and how you're raised is not a priority to how your life will turn out. You can get all the best education in the world, you can get all the all the all the discipline, everything, and things will not work. It will not work. Maybe because you don't believe in yourself. Maybe because you will not live in the things you learned or you didn't appreciate it. So you then put yourself into it to make it part of you. Whatever you do, children, you got to make it part of you. Because nobody is born with talents. You got to develop them. Nobody is born with abilities. Well, geniuses, yes, but they still gotta train, they still gotta read, they catch it on faster. That's the only thing about geniuses that are different than us. Things that would take us longer to learn, they can learn it like that and just move on like it's nothing, like it's water. But some of us got to struggle and read and read and learn and it will come slowly, slowly to us. But you can't give up. You can't say, oh, because my mom is a market woman, so that's the status of my life forever. No, it's not. You can't say because I'm not a Congo man, that means I can't excel to be like Congo men, to be educated, to be standing up with them, speaking with intelligence like them. You can do it. You can do it. Look at Duke Estrella JJ. All the children born in America, they're born are indigenous parents. Some of their parents still can speak English well, but the children go to school, mix it with American children. The ideas and, 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 and intuitions and, and, and abilities grow and expand because they are challenged by people who are better than them. And they know they gotta meet the standards of those people, or they can't intermingle with them. So that's the essence of life. And you voters have to understand it. That as patriots, you owe your allegiance to nobody but the West African Republic of Liberia. Not 
fill your mind up like you go into Liberia. Because from the family comes the nation. Families come together and form the nation. And we agree on how we're going to live together, how we're going to work together. And our nation is formed. And how we're going to select our leaders, how, what kind of rules going to go on our society. That's the constitution. So we got to start from somewhere to work together to form a great nation and people called Liberia. And how do we do it? By every one of us individually seeking to raise our mentalities, our mental capabilities, and education. So once we do these things for ourselves and become good at it, and learn it, we can turn to help other people. We can turn to lead our nation. But as young children right now, we are in the knowledge or education, have educated from the University of Liberia, you can appear smart when we come down to the next grade. You're not smart because you didn't get the full extent of the knowledge and education you're supposed to get. These are the problems young people in Liberia are facing. These are the problems that corrupt leaders of indigenous tribes are bringing to our indigenous people, telling them they market with me children, they not let them come up children, you know, so they, they must fight. They must stand against everything Congo. They must stand against everything civilized because it's against the indigenous heritage. It's so natural. This is a trouble for our people and it is necessary for us to rise up and change this trouble and bring our people into unification and integration as it has been our plans for forever. If our people didn't desire for us to come together, we will never have a unification and integration policy. That policy is the life-saving blood of the Liberian people us coming together as one people and one nation and thinking that all of us can excel to lead Liberia as men and women. Not as market women, children, not as Congo or country, but as men and women. And once your leaders continue to tell you that you cannot excel to that level, they do not love you. They're telling you you are inferior and you must stay inferior. Because I will not consistently tell my people that we pull and pull and pull. I got to give my people hope. I got to let my people know that we are better than things in this world, even with our money. We are better. God put us here to rule this world, and that's why we are better. And our leaders cannot continue to play our mentalities and tell us we are not. So my Liberian people, we got a great challenge before us, especially for our youth and our young people who still think that they are market women children and not human citizens. That's not your plight. That's not your destiny to remain market women's children. Our country has come too far now for Liberians to still be thinking like that. We may not have achieved full unification and integration, but we're on the way, and we need to move from these useless thinking, these thoughts that bind us to a status in life that gave us less hope, that tell us we are not good as other people, and that is not right. That is not for Liberia. That is not for the new era of Liberianism. That is not for the new era of the youth of Liberia. We gotta grow up above that. You are in no market with me, children. You are in no poor people, children. And you better stop thinking like that. You people are Liberian citizens, and no matter what your status in your society is, you have the opportunity and abilities to excel personally. And if, if the government not providing the education for you to excel, that is the problem with Liberian government leadership. If you are not getting the education to move from Congo from, from market women children 
to educated Liberian men and women. That is the problem of the leadership you have. Is that the leadership you have today? That's the challenge. Is your leadership patriot? Because your leadership is both patriotic. The primary objective right now is to educate the masses of Liberian youth because we just came out of war, we just came out of immense poverty and suffering, and we need an educated society to rebuild our country. When I say educated, I'm not talking about classroom education. I'm talking about people getting out in the agricultural field, in the sectors of, but you need education for that. Everything takes education. And you got to be humble. You got to be patient. You got to understand that your education is the foundation to you participating in the building of a great Republic of Liberia. Your primary challenge for us is your patriotism. Your primary challenge is to look around you and question whether you are qualified enough to be a leader of Liberia. Whether you can achieve, whether you have achieved the education you need to stand up with men in the world, as George we are stood with footballers in the world, be counted as a significant figure in the world. If you can't play football, it's knowledge and education is your thing, then you gotta prove that you are successful in your knowledge and education. But if you come and talk to me and you cannot debate a man like me, you have not achieved anything. How many of you out there can challenge Rodney Chesson? You can challenge Rodney Chesson, then you on this path to progress and advancement. Can't. You need to excel. What I have achieved in my life is not impossible for you. I did it mostly on my own. My own abilities and desire to learn. If I didn't have the desire to learn, not be who I am today. But I was blessed because I had a mother who told me, education is your freedom. Many of you do not have mothers and fathers to give you that initial input in your lives that tells you that your education is primary. I'm doing that for you today. I've done that for you since 1980. And they have ignored me. Why? Because I'm not a society man. Yeah, about all the craft school on Liberia, the Mason, the this and that. I'm not a Mason. I'm not a UPF. I'm not a poor society man. I'm not in any secret society. And that's why I'm outside of all the laws. Because they can't play with me. I'm not a part of that. That don't mean I don't know about them. I know about them. My people being in them. But for me, I wasn't my path. My only path in this world is Christianity. And if I feel, let my Lord judge me. But I ain't joining no secret society. I ain't joining no crafts to prove that I'm a Liberian, to prove that I'm a man. Let the people ask you, you show you man. That was the question taught me used to ask my father. Anybody ask me that question now, I tell you, are you man? Can you challenge me? You can't challenge me. You can't challenge me spiritually, nor with voodoo. Because I am a man who applied myself and learned. And there's no reason why you Liberian people cannot apply yourself and learn. All you need is one God. You can't be serving different, different gods. You can't be going from county to county looking for juju people. And all the tribes got different gods. All the tribes got different gods. So if you just go traveling all over the city looking for gods, you are destroying yourself. You gotta have one God that you believe in and trust and speak to. You cannot have many gods. Two, you gotta understand that you are in this world for yourself. God 
for all. You are in this world for yourself. You can have 10,000 siblings, your mother can be rich and all of that. You have to rise up to the plate of leadership by yourself. Or you will not get it. Not get it. Some kings choose their heirs and they choose the one they feel is the strongest. The one they feel that can bring, keep the family together intact and strong. That's the basics of leadership. Understanding what your duties and responsibilities are as a patriot. And secondly, uniting your people and bringing them together to stand with you on a solid ground. Based on your own behaviors and principles. So Liberian people, young my Liberian children, you have a grave challenge, one challenge to be patriot Liberians, to stand for our laws and duties and constitution. That's the only thing that makes you a Liberian citizen. Standing on the laws and principles of Liberia and taking care of yourself before anybody else. Aluta, continue. I wish you well, my young children, because I want you to know that who you vote into power is a significant part in your education, your own bringing, and your time to lead life. We are all leaders of our country, but we have to prepare ourselves to sit at the table as men. And if you think you are market woman children and that your status in life and you can't move from that status, so be it. You will be a market woman children. But if you want to be Liberians and leaders of a great Liberian nation, you will learn Demand that your leaders provide the means of education for you so we can be as great as any other world nation of education. Aluta! Continua. Ben and I, you. Why I put Ben and I, you here? I listen to your senior and all of them in America when they get mad and talking about Ben and I. Oh, you want only 1% of the people? Well, they 1% man can do. Ben and I want 1% of the educated people in Liberia. Ben and I follow us, I educated. And many of them are the educated leaders of the Iberian society. So he may not win the indigenous support, but he won the intellectual support of Liberia. You see, an early communist party itself does, do not, does not have enough educated people as Ben and I. First of all, Ben and I got a curious about people with him. That, that's an educated group in Liberia by itself. Then secondly, he got a, man, a lot of the uh, people from the schools he attended. Ben and I graduated from school in Liberia. Ben and people know Ben and I. Ben and indigenous people know Ben and I. Personally, more than you people. Just like me. I've been in Liberia a long time. Where, my, where I got educated. Where my roots are in Liberia. Where I hit Liberia, people know I'm a Liberian educated man. I didn't get my education abroad. I'm a Liberian through and through. So when I talk, I know what I'm talking. And I have family in Liberia that is not related to my mom and nobody else, no, no my pa, that my own family. And my aunt, Louise Walsh Smith, that the family she gave me. And my family in Bonga. When I'm in Liberia, we have family meetings. With, I got my own family, we call family minutes and we discuss our business. So I'm not a stranger to my country. And when I come home, you will see that I'm not a stranger to my country. I'm an activist, an advocate. I've been that way all my life. <clears throat> I said about Rodney Chesson. Okay? So Ben and I, you is not a small player in Liberia. You can say whatever you all want to say. He has a voice. And when that one percent of educated Liberian talk, you gotta listen. You gotta rest our people. Depend on these people to guide them. Yeah, they may not like Ben and I but they can't get rid of Ben and I They can't get rid of Ben and I And many of the people in America know Ben and I too. Many of us here know Ben and I from Liberia. That wasn't us. all of us are Liberian people. Those of us who play sports, we know each other. 
and came from schools that, that were prominent in our society, we know each other. <clears throat> so it's no strange thing. Now when I talk about coming home and punching Ellie, Ellie and Ben and I here, I know what I'm talking. And I know I can do it, I know I can do it. I ain't scared of them. They ain't got nothing over me in life either. So you better open your eyes and understand what the politics in Liberia stem from. Our country got 98% illiterate people. It may be less now. We all that money illiterate people and our leaders for indigenous background not trying to educate their people, not trying to expand education to our country. They're just stealing the money, stealing. Instead of building institutions or countries for the people to go and learn, they got their people wanting to come to Monrovia. And this is not helping our country. Because if our people leaders pay attention to our up country region, our people will not be so much in Liberia, in Monrovia. Our people will want to live in their counties. If we start putting good educational system, good uh, developmental programs up country, people will leave like Monrovia to go up country. Because when I come to Liberia, I'm not living in Monrovia. I'm living with my people in Banga. That's where my people are. So I tell everybody that. I told you, I said we're carrying the first supermarket to Banga, the first mall. That's my, in, that's my intention. Why go into my home for I can't build businesses for my people to grow? And why I gotta carry things to Monrovia for? I don't want to be in Monrovia. Monrovia is all crowded. I'm going to places that I can live and be free. And, and exercise with free air and, and I love Banga. I love our country. You know, because from Banga I can travel anywhere. I can drive to Nimba, I can drive to Vondima, I can travel all over my country that I know and I love. And I got investment in every country. I got Bethlehem High School in Vondima. I got to go develop into a major institution in junior college. Those are things I want to do for my people. And I don't have to be a politician to do it, but I just don't like these people stealing our money, breaking our country down, and impugning our nation in the world. The time of the Liberian people is now. Our indigenous people must understand that education and knowledge is a priority. We have to bring up our society from the depths of illiteracy to the, to the freedom of education and mental enlightenment. That's freedom within itself. And I'm telling you, my young children, as soon as you go to college and start ed getting educated, you will know that Chesson is telling you the truth. That your mind right now is closed and people are telling you all kinds of things that you confuse and don't even know and you, 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 you're just following. But when you go to school and you start learning and your mind start opening and you start ex understanding things you didn't understand before because you were not educated and it things start, it start explaining things to you that you didn't know and you start loving how to read and how to get involved with the internet for educational purpose and not for lewd sex things, you will grow and you excel in Liberia to become a great and powerful nation. The time of the Liberian people is here. We can't dwell on people that better than our year and the 2% of, of, of educated people in Liberia who just care about politics and leading the Liberia any way they want to lead it. We gotta focus on those advocates who want to build our country, who want to open our country to our people so you all can enjoy the fruits of life outside Monrovia. Let us challenge the people in Monrovia. Let us build up country. All of us who got money, let's go up country and build our country and build our indigenous people so they know what it is to work hard, to earn money, and to live good. The time of the Liberian people is here. My Liberian people, my lesson is done. I advise you, young children, to stay patriotic, to love your country above all else, and 
most importantly, to learn your constitutional laws and try to understand what they mean. Seek knowledge and education in everything you do and you cannot fail. A union strong, success is sure. Liberian people cannot fail. Aluta! Continue. My class is over. Have a good day.